So this question starts off by giving us an expression, um, which usually means we're going to need to use the simplify method. And I can see here 2x plus 6 divided by x plus 2 squared minus 2 over x plus 2. And I just added the parentheses. It's not in the original question. But I can see that I can simplify that because the, uh, the lowest common denominator, right, which is what we will need to find whenever we're adding or subtracting fractions, the lowest common denominator is x plus 2 squared which really just means I need to multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction on the right by x plus 2. So let's see what happens when I do that. So I'd have 2x plus 6 over x plus 2 squared. And then I'd have minus 2 parentheses x plus 2 over x plus 2 squared. Now, because the denominators are the same, I can just write this as a single fraction, which is 2x plus 6 minus 2 parentheses x plus 2 all over x plus 2 squared. And I can simplify that further. Go over here for more space. So I have 2x plus 6, and then the negative 2 is going to distribute across the parentheses. So I'd have minus 2x and minus 4 all over, again, x plus 2, <clears throat> 2 squared. And then I have 2x minus 2x, which is gone. 6 minus 4 becomes 2. So I just have 2 over x plus 2 squared. And that's my most simplified form here. Now recognize I didn't even read the question yet. And that's just from practice. If I ever see something provided... If I see an expression provided that can be simplified, I immediately go there. It usually saves me time. Um, and typically, by doing so, I find the right answer. So the question actually says the expression above is equivalent to a over x plus 2 squared. Well, that's interesting, right? Because that would mean that if it's equivalent to a over x plus 2 squared, that would mean that a must equal 2. And then it goes on to say where a is a positive constant and x does not equal negative 2. That's very true here. What is the value of a? Well, we just found it. The value of a is 2, right? So sometimes students will allow this to confuse, right? Instead of focusing on the fact that this is where all the math is happening, this is where the simplification is happening, then after you're finished with that simplification, right, after we're all the way done, then we compare it to or then we look at what else the question has provided.